Hello and welcome everyone. So if you are watching this video, that means you know that Excel is very powerful in, you know, solving our day to day problems and, you know, simplify our work a lot. So I have a very good problem statement here. Uh, well, that is uh, pretty straightforward for now. So I have a table which you can see here, which has six or you see five fields basically. And these fields are title, model, image, description and price. And I want to generate HTML pages for each record like this. Okay, so this is one simple HTML. I have not used any styling here right now, just a simple uh, page which I have created right now uh, so that I can show you that what wonders we can do using Excel macros. All right, so let us take a look. Okay, so I open VB Editor and I am creating a new sub procedure. Let me open the sheet along with the VB Editor. So you see here I have 81 rows but uh, this could be dynamic so I want to generate one page for each row so I am iterating through all the rows so R is a variable that I have taken from 2 to number of rows I can put 81 here if I want to you know generate for 81 records but I'll make it dynamic so I put cells rows dot count comma 1 and excel up dot row okay so this will give me the last row which is having data so 2 to 81 now I take a variable, let's say it is op, which is output basically, and I initially uh, keep it blank and on the top I declare it as well. Okay. Now this is the HTML that we want to generate if you see, and let's say I want to, you know, club couple of rows so that I minimize the number of uh, concatenation operations that I'm going to perform in the HTML or in fact in the VBA code basically. So all the things which are static on the top, uh, I'm just putting them in one row and this I'll be copying and I'll be pasting there in the variable basically because for every row I need this kind of header right it will be having the HTML tag head tag that will be same for all the pages and then it will having uh, the body tag which is starting of it and then one by one you know we will be making these things parameterized uh, for each row and then uh, we'll be saving that file as HTML okay so in the first row where I kept this OPS blank, I'll be putting the text uh, which I made there in the first row. Okay. And then I go to second row. Uh, basically, I'll be, you know, concatenating each row one by one. So either you can do all these things in one row of the VBA, that is also okay, but that would be, you know, less readable. So better is you do it in multiple parts. So here uh, we forgot to take the body so I'm putting the body as well. Now next one is this h2 tag where we have kept the uh, title right. So that title would be dynamic but the tag is constant so I put the starting h2 tag and then this would be the dynamic text I keep it blank for now and then ending of this h2 tag okay. And this dynamic text would be coming from the excel sheet which would be in the R row right we have taken r as a variable uh, where uh, the row number r would be holding that particular value and that value is actually in column one of row r okay so this one is the title for second row okay since we are starting from second so i can straight away put here cells r comma one dot value this will bring the title here and similarly we can put the model number we can put the image right we can put the price and we can also put the description so on the same lines i'll be putting this concatenation operation and i can do multiple at, at once also so let us do these one by one all right so once you have done the concatenation operations so that means the final uh, value of op will be holding that entire html of a page right now before we move to the next iteration we need to save this uh, page as html okay so for saving as a file we need to create a file system object so i here set fso equals create object i'll be using to create a file system type of object so uh, create object and here in brackets i need to use scripting dot file system object okay and FSO we can uh, declare the type as well that FSO is nothing but of an object type okay so dim FSO as object now since uh, we need to also create a file so I also declare a variable dim let's say file that could be the file actually that I'm going to save 
as uh, for now i just uh, put it as object okay and then i'll be using this fso object to create the text file so set fil that would be the file that i'm going to create and there is a method in uh, this uh, scripting file system object which is create text file that help us in creating the text file basically and here in the arguments you need to give the complete path of the file that you want to create okay now where do we want to save these HTMLs? let me you know show you the structure so this is the file that we have kept here and then we have images in this images folder and this is the HTMLs folder where we want to save all the HTMLs. But this Excel file, this main.xlsm is outside both the folders. So what we can do is we can say here that active workbook.path, this will take me here and then inside that I want to go to HTMLs. So I'll put a slash and then HTMLs and then again a slash and then I need to give the name of the file and the extension. Now, if I take a look at the data, you can see the model name is unique for all the rows. So I can use this model name or number as uh, the file name, right? You can uh, use any file name of your choice, but for now I'm using this model number. So cells are comma two since B is the column, right? Dot value. And this will be holding only the model number, but we also need to give the file extension. So the extension of the file would be dot HTML. Right, so we have created the file. Now we need to write the content inside it and then we need to close the file. So to write the content, so fil, we have created this object dot write is the method and op is the final text that we want to write. So I'll pass that as an argument and then we can close using fil dot close. Now, if you see here in this HTML folder, right now I have only one HTML that I was showing to you as an example, this one. But now we'll be having multiple HTMLs getting generated with the name that would be the model number, right? So let us run it in debug mode for now. And you see, I have missed one thing here that this scripting dot file system object should be in double quotes. Okay. Now let us run in debug mode and see what it creates for the first one. So it does the concatenation operation. Something is wrong here. Okay. So that is value and I have misspelled it. So if you run it in debug mode, you will get to know all the errors that you have made. And then uh, next one is uh, it has created, cre it has created the file and then it is writing and then it has closed it. And the file is here. Let us open it so we have a good HTML created. Now I let it run for all the files and in few seconds or maybe in fraction of seconds, you see all the files getting generated and we can open them. Let's say a couple of them and we can compare right you can see that all these have different titles models images and the description okay so this is very unformatted kind of page but you can do wonders in terms of beautiful looking pages uh, where you'll be having styling as well and a, a few javascript as well so this is just a start of it uh, i'm covering this first example here you will be seeing more wonderful examples in my upcoming videos in this series so stay tuned and please subscribe.